Hi, Assalamualaikum students. Okay, for Science Cambridge Grade 6 today, we are going to discuss the question in learner's book. Please open learner's book, page 7. The question is, number 1, which organ is found in the head? Organ apa yang terdapat di dalam kepala? Number 2, which organ are found in the chest? Organ apa yang terdapat di dalam dada? Number 3, which organ are found in the pairs? Organ apa yang... Uh, Berpasangan atau jumlahnya ada dua Number four, which organ are found in the chest? Organ apa yang terdapat di dalam dada? Number five, what do you think is the function of each body organ? Apa yang kamu pikir fungsi dari semua organ? Alright, I have already uh, write down the answer Okay, this one is the answer Number one is brain Number two is heart Number three is lung or kidney Number four, lungs Number five, to keep us alive and healthy. All right, student, continue to page nine. We're going to answer this question. Number one, A, what does the heart do? Apa tugas jantung? B, why does it do this? Uh, kenapa alasannya dia mengerjakan itu? Number two, what is heartbeat? Apa itu detak jantung? Number three, why does the heart pump blood to the lungs before it pump blood to the rest of the body? Kenapa? Uh, jantung memompa darah ke paru-paru sebelum memompa darah ke seluruh badan. Oke, okay, let's see the answer. Right, number one A, pumping blood. Number two, one B, to carry oxygen. Number two, every time your heart squeezes, it makes heart beat. Number three, to bring oxygen to the lung. Oke. Okay. Alright, student. Now we continue to page 11. We're going to ask a uh, We're going to answer the questions. Number one, what is the difference between heartbeat and pulse? Apa bedanya antara detak jantung dan denyut nadi? Number two, did everyone in your group have the same pulse rate? Apakah orang-orang di dalam kelompokmu mempunyai denyut, denyut nadi yang sama? Number three, A, is your pulse rate always the same? Apakah denyut nadimu selalu sama? B, why do you think that uh, this is? Kenapa bisa ber, uh, begitu C? How can you work out what your actual pulse rate is? Uh, gimana caranya untuk mengetahui denyut nadi kamu? Number four, suggest any factors you think make your pulse rate change. Kira-kira pekerjaan apa sih yang bisa membuat denyut nadi kamu berubah? Alright, let's see the answer. Okay, number one, heartbeat is when the heart squeezes. B, pulse is when we give pressure on blood vessel. Ya. Yeah. Jadi kalau heartbeat itu ketika jantung kita sedang memompa, ada heart ada detak jantungnya. Kalau pulse, when we give pressure on the blood vessel, ketika kita memberi tekanan pada uh, pembuluh atau nadi ya, pembuluh darah atau nadi. Number two, no they haven't. Jadi detak jantung kita, uh, denyut nadi kita selalu berbeda ya. A, no it isn't. B, because we do different activities. C, by pressing the blood vessel. Number four, doing some exercise or running. Jadi kalau kita mau membedakan denyut nadi kita, kita harus mengerjakan pekerjaan seperti exercise atau running. Oke? Okay? Oke, okay, student. For the last one, you can open page 12. We will uh, uh, answer this question. Number one, when you breathe in, does your chest get bigger or smaller? Why do you think this is so? Ketika kamu bernapas atau mengambil napas atau menghirup udara, apakah dada kamu menjadi lebih besar atau lebih kecil? Uh, kenapa alasannya? Number two, when you breathe out, ketika kamu menghembuskan udara, bagaimana kondisi uh, bada, uh, badanmu apakah menjadi smaller atau menjadi lebih kecil atau lebih besar? Kenapa alasannya? Number three, explain how we are able to blow up a balloon. Gimana caranya uh, kita bisa meniup balon? Number four, why do you think we breathe faster when we exercise? Kenapa ketika kita berolahraga, kita bernapas lebih cepat? Okay, and the answer is... Okay, this is the answer. Number one, our chest getting bigger because the air come into the lungs. Number two, our chest becomes smaller because the air is out. Number three, because we transfer what uh, air from our body to balloon. Number four, because we need more oxygen during exercise. All right, student. Thank you so much for today. Uh, hopefully, you enjoy learning with me. Uh, baik untuk hari ini selesai sampai di sini saja pelajaran kita The Science. Jika misalnya anak-anak tidak cukup menulis di dalam buku, bisa kalian tulis di dalam buku tulis. Oke, okay? see you again next time. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.